Hi, I'm Jacqueline Garcia. I'm a medical oncologist at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Massachusetts. I treat myelodysplastic syndrome along with acute leukemias. At this year's American Society of Hematology meeting in 2023 in San Diego, I had the opportunity to present and share with my colleagues data from an ongoing phase 1B clinical trial um, that includes azacitidine plus venetoclax, the oral BCL2 inhibitor, for frontline therapy in high-risk MDS patients. In this presentation, uh, we gave the update on responses and survival in patients that received the combination therapy at the recommended phase two dose. Uh, separately, uh, there is an ongoing study that is phase three, randomized, double-blinded, using this very regimen versus azacitinib placebo. So this is uh, the phase 1B single arm data, just to give a prelim uh, information on what's going on and how patients are looking. Uh, so I presented on 107 patients with higher risk MDS, 85% had IPSSSR, high or very high risk, so it was a high risk cohort. We had patients with mutations in asx one RUNX1, and P53, SRSF2 as being the most frequent, so traditional MDS mutations, and the majority of patients had well over 5% or 10% uh, bone marrow blast on study entry. So this is a traditional high risk MDS patient cohort. In this clinical trial, patients received azacitidine, 75 milligrams per meter squared for seven days, each 28 day cycle, plus venetoclax, 400 milligrams, days one through 14 with a two week break. Um, so what we, are, uh, we were able to present uh, is that safety looks great. There were expected uh, lower blood counts that is expected with this regimen. There was a 42% febrile neutropenia uh, event rate. Um, there were infections that were observed. Um, so what we did in this protocol to prevent these uh, expected fevers and potential infection risks from becoming serious is we mandated antibacterial prophylaxis for patients with grade three or higher neutrophil count decreases, and that really helped to reduce severity of infections, making this regimen tolerable with the antibiotic prophylaxis plus inter, uh, interruptions to the venetoclax dosing as necessary. Um, how do the outcomes look? Well, the complete remission rate by IWG 2006 criteria was 30%, which is fantastic. We did see additional responses, including marrow, complete remission with hematologic improvement in 37%. Uh, we also uh, observed transfusion independence conversion in well over 40% of patients. Um, importantly, when we took a look at the 107 patients and their median overall survival, it was at 26 months, uh, which is fantastic. For patients in complete remission, the uh, survival has not been reached, which is phenomenal. The median duration of complete remission is about 16 and a half months. Uh, so we were pleased to present uh, the safety data. No new uh, or unexpected issues were observed and we were able to present the outcome data from the phase 1B trial. Uh, we look forward to seeing what happens in the ongoing phase 3 study, but we uh, have some promising data already in the phase 1 setting. Thank you.